You can connect PowerCam up to your modeler and PA mixer in a number of different ways. Now the most obvious way would simply be to take the audio out from the modeler and plug them straight into the inputs in a power cab. And power cab is of course mono, so in an ideal world you're going to have two of them so that you can run in stereo. Then if you just connect the XLR output from power cab to the front house mixer. Now in this way the audience hear the same speaker models or IRs in power cab that you'll be listening to. And the volume knob on power cab does not affect the output level to the XLR, so if you do need to turn up on stage it won't affect the front of house signal. If you're using a model with multiple signal paths, you have lots of different options. With Helix, for example, you could run a signal path to the front of house with an amp model, maybe some effects and a full speaker simulation, and then use a different path to run just the amp model and the effects into a power cab. So that way, you get the 1x12 amp in the room feel from power cab, and the audience can get an entirely different sound. So for example, maybe a full 4x12 speaker simulated sound or IR signal, but direct from the Helix and from the PA system. PowerCab 112 Plus offers a few extra options. If you're using a model with a digital out, you could use PowerCab Plus's AES EBU connections. Now, the L6 Link connection on Helix takes this even further. L6 Link will not only send audio to the PowerCab Plus, but will also enable two PowerCab Pluses to automatically split into stereo when they detect each other. The MIDI connections on PowerCab Plus can come in really handy if you want to switch different speaker models or presets. For each of your modeler presets, you can have the PowerCab switch to the perfect speaker mode. So you could, for example, have one modeler preset that uses a preloaded IR from PowerCab. Then another preset that switches PowerCab into a full range operation, maybe for an acoustic sound. Then maybe another preset that switches in one of PowerCab's own speaker models. And with PowerCab 112 Plus, you can change nearly every preset parameter via MIDI, so just check the manual for the full MIDI specs. The extra input on PowerCab Plus means you can take in an extra feed from a mixer. So now you can use it as a stage monitor alongside your guitar sound, maybe for backing vocals or a band mix. And the dual crossovers will allow the guitar signal to be processed with IOS or speaker models, whilst your backing vocals will actually remain full range. You just set input to mode to monitor. The USB port on PowerCab Plus can stream two channels of audio to and from a Mac or PC, or even from an iPhone if you have the Lightning to USB adapter kit, and some Android devices if you use the OTG adapter. That means you can stream music to PowerCab via USB, listen to a feed from a mixer, and jam along using PowerCab speaker models all at the same time. So as you can see, it can be really simple or quite complex depending on your needs. So I hope that was helpful, and as always, please check out the other videos for more information on the range. Thank you.